So a pertinent negative, what that is, give you an example. We know that if someone is having a heart attack, they may have these sign symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, some back pain, nausea, vomiting, right? Their medical history could be like diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, family history, smoking, right? To name a few. So if I go to a patient and let's say this patient has chest pain, if I ask the patient about their chest pain and I say, well, you're having chest pain, you're saying it's eight out of 10. Do you have a hard time breathing? Do you have any nausea, vomiting? Do you have back pain? Are you a diabetic? Do you have high blood pressure? Do you have high cholesterol? If they say no to all those things, that is what we call a pertinent negative. Meaning, this patient has chest pain, but they have just chest pain by itself. Not all these other bad things that could clue that this is really bad. That's good for the patients. And that is to go on your documentation as well.